hydrogen gas, not gasoline or diesel, was burned as fuel in the world's first internal combustion engine. Today, hydrogen combustion engines power everything from cars to buses. Commercial aircraft of tomorrow may be powered by hydrogen combustion. Would you like to learn more about BMW's new hydrogen combustion engine? From fuel cars to hydrogen cars, BMW is revolutionizing how we live. How does a hydrogen engine work, and what exactly is it? What are BMW's plans for the future? This video briefly introduces hydrogen combustion engines and discusses the exciting possibilities for the future. Let's look at how hydrogen cars work and are amazed by their power. BMW's Hydrogen Combustion Car The Nike Asia reports that BMW and Toyota will produce hydrogen fuel cell vehicles starting mid-decade. According to BMW sales chief Peter Noda, the two companies will begin selling hydrogen fuel cell vehicles as early as 2025. BMW and Toyota have previously developed the iX5 hydrogen from BMW's X5 SUV and the BMW Z4 and Toyota Supra sports cars. Fuel cell technology has been around for a long time, and Toyota's Mirai midsize sedan is entering its second generation after being on sale for eight years. The cars generate electricity using hydrogen and oxygen instead of engines or batteries. Compared to battery electric vehicles, fuel cells offer several advantages. Refueling only takes three to four minutes, and they can travel longer distances. However, the U.S. hydrogen network is concentrated in California. Even there, it has yet to be ready for mass adoption. Despite BMW's re-entry into electric vehicle technology, with the i4 Coupe and iX SUV, the company has hinted at its interest in hydrogen. In a recent earnings call, CEO Oliver Zips said the company's next-generation platform, New Class, may be designed to accommodate the gaseous fuel and pure battery power. With a platform known as CLAR, the company has pursued a similar all-of-the-above strategy, including internal combustion engines, plug-in hybrids, and full-battery electric power systems. Its plug-in hybrids move thanks quickly to CLAR, but its EV efforts have been delayed compared to its competitors. New Class may face the same problems or it may provide solutions to them. The market will have the final say when the new BMW 3 Series Sedan and X3 SUV are available in 2025. As a result of the collaboration, both companies can hedge their investments in zero-emission cars. Within 10 years, BMW hopes to make EVs up half of its corporate brand sales, including Rolls-Royce and Mini. The shift from fossil fuels to hydrogen It has been obvious for a few decades now that hydrogen is the future. However, Toyota needed to have more attention to the pace at which battery electric vehicles would grow in market share. Although the original Mirai was decent, it needed to be more exciting to compete with halo vehicles like the Tesla Model S or Porsche Taycan and the 2021 version could have been more impressive. Nevertheless, BMW's iX5 Hydrogen takes a different approach. Driving one in Belgium recently was a great experience for me. In theory, you can buy a Toyota Mirai, but the BMW iX5 Hydrogen is more of a proof of concept. It isn't a rough prototype, but a polished pilot fleet vehicle. In essence, BMW has taken some current BMW. X5s and fitted hydrogen gas cylinders with electric motors instead of gearboxes and fossil fuel engines. Although there's probably more to it than that, you don't know the power source when you get inside. However, it is important to note that these cars are not part of a new production line variant. BMW used electrified minis before the i3 to experiment with electric vehicles. Fewer than 100 cars will be produced, and after the event in Belgium, the iX5 cars will be tested in real-world settings worldwide. However, the company does not believe in its EV strategy, so it does not produce these vehicles. Hydrogen is more of a hedged bet, so the company will be ready if it makes a comeback. Currently, there is no time frame for future vehicles. BMW Hydrogen Car Driving Experience Despite feeling like a standard BMW SUV inside and not even as high-tech as the iX, the iX5 Hydrogen drives like an electric vehicle. Even the steering wheel has paddles that adjust the regeneration levels. When accelerating, the fuel cell can deliver continuous 170 horsepower, supplemented by a small 2 kilowatt hour battery that can deliver an additional 231 horsepower. Unlike any hydrogen car in production, the iX5 hydrogen can reach 62 miles per hour in under 6 seconds. In contrast to a battery electric vehicle, the iX5 hydrogen has no latency to its throttle response unlike other hydrogen fuel cell electric vehicles. It weighs about the same as a plug-in hybrid X5, 
so handling is like a sporty BMW SUV. Battery electric vehicle are generally heavier. BMW iX5 Hydrogen maintains its driving pleasure while gaining green credentials. The BMW EVs, however, are also very enjoyable to drive. The i3 was a good car, the i4 was a good car, and the iX isn't that bad either. BMW hopes to offer long-range capabilities with the iX5 Hydrogen. Hydrogen fuel cell electric vehicles can carry 6 kg of hydrogen, giving them a range of 313 miles. Although that's less than some of BMW's flagship EVs, such as the i4 or iXX Drive 50, BMW counters this by claiming shorter refueling times with hydrogen. An A2 station from CMB.Tech was on display at the Belgian event. This means you could cover longer distances in this car faster than any current EV, I'll discuss this later. What BMW has created with the iX5 Hydrogen is a great vehicle. It has the performance and smooth delivery of a battery electric vehicle, but it feels like a typical X5 with superb equipment. Additionally, it refuels similarly to an internal combustion engine. There is nothing wrong with the iX5 Hydrogen itself, which is why there is a question mark over it. Hydrogen fuel cell electric vehicles are a general concept. Debates about vaccinations, immigration, and the last season of Game of Thrones can get very heated. In conclusion, does BMW now prove A2 is the future? Perhaps not, but it has moved the debate forward and demonstrated that in hydrogen fuel cell electric vehicles can be comfortable, high performance, and luxurious. There has never been such a desirable hydrogen fuel cell electric vehicles before. In addition, it shows that the choice between a battery electric vehicle and hydrogen fuel cell electric vehicles is about more than just the car itself, but about the energy infrastructure we develop, which is far from certain. After discussing deep learning and its use in altering the automotive industry, we'll move on to the essential and most demanding question. Will the BMW hydrogen car prove itself for the world? But before that, if you come this far in the video, consider giving it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for the sake of the hydrogen car revolution. BMW iX5 Hydrogen – Normal, Practical Luxury SUV In addition, BMW has yet to sacrifice significant interior space to fit the h shoe drivetrain. The Mirai has a small cargo area and rear seats that cannot be folded forward to expand. One of the h shoe gas tanks is housed in the transmission tunnel of the iX5 Hydrogen. This will reduce the comfort of the middle rear seat compared to the two outside seats. Despite this, the rear luggage space hasn't changed with this car's powertrain. Dropping down the rear seats will still give you the capacity you expect from a BMW X5. Thus, the iX5 Hydrogen is a typical SUV. Currently, hydrogen refueling stations make EV charging ubiquitous on a practical level. Except for California, there are only a few A2 stations in the USA, and even fewer that actually work. Only one station is located in South America, and only three or four are operational in the UK. Among European countries, only Germany has 93, while Spain and Portugal have none. As a result, the BMW iX5 Hydrogen is currently a pilot fleet rather than a product. In some areas, it's a viable vehicle option. In conclusion, while we must be aware of the potential limitations of BMW hydrogen cars, we should also recognize that they can contribute to a more sustainable future. As opposed to focusing on whether hydrogen cars will be all that remains in the future, we should focus on how hydrogen can be used responsibly to benefit humanity. Personal transportation with hydrogen remains uncertain, however. While we may never know the whole story behind what is happening, one thing is clear. Hydrogen cars are our future, and BMW strives for it. If you're interested in more content like this, thumbnails popping on your screens.